Could 5W30 or 5W40 be the invisible line between driving 400,000 miles or losing your diesel before 150,000? The truth about 5W30 versus 5W40 diesel oil isn't just about numbers. It's about a choice that could cost thousands and kill your engine early. Most believe any synthetic oil is safe, but the real answer hides in the fine print. So what really decides your diesel's fate? Every oil jug on the shelf carries a code, but few drivers know what those numbers actually mean. Both 5W30 and 5W40 are defined by the SAEG 300 standard, which sets the rules for how thick or thin an oil must be at different temperatures. The first number, 5W, stands for winter performance. It tells you that whether you pick 5W30 or 5W40, your oil will flow well at cold starts, down to about minus 30 degrees Celsius. This is critical for protecting engine parts during those first seconds after ignition, when metal-on-metal -metal contact is most likely. The real difference hides in the second number. At 100 degrees Celsius, the temperature most engines reach under normal driving, 5W30 and 5W40 separate 5W30 has a kinematic viscosity between 9.3 and 12.5 square millimeters per second. 5W40 sits higher, from 12.5 up to 16.3 square millimeters per second. That means 5W40 forms a thicker oil film at operating temperature, potentially offering more cushion between moving parts. Meanwhile, 5W30 is a bit thinner, which can help it flow faster and reduce drag, especially in newer engines built for efficiency. Understanding these numbers isn't just academic. They translate directly to how well your oil can protect under heat and pressure. The code on the jug isn't just marketing. It's a direct line to your engine's survival, especially as temperatures climb and stress rises. Inside every diesel engine, the battle against wear is fought at the molecular level. High temperature, high shear viscosity, HTHS for short, defines how well oil can keep moving parts separated under the worst stress. This property is measured at 150 degrees Celsius, simulating what happens in turbo bearings and high pressure fuel pumps. The higher the HTHS, the thicker and more resilient the oil film that stands between metal surfaces. Most 5W30 diesel oils land between 2.9 and 3.2 centipoise, while 5W40 oils typically reach 3.5 or even 4.0. SAEJ 300 sets these minimums for a reason. As HTHS drops below 3.2, the risk of direct metal contact rises, especially when engines run hot, tow heavy loads, or endure long highway stretches. Industry studies and bench tests reveal a clear pattern. Oils with HTHS above 3.2 to 3.4 centipoise consistently show lower rates of iron and bearing wear in used oil analysis. In controlled trials, engines running lower HTHS oils produced up to 27% more iron, evidence of accelerated wear. The chemistry behind this is simple. A thinner oil film can collapse under pressure, letting metal scrape against metal. Over time, this microscopic friction adds up, shaving years off an engine's life. For older diesels or any vehicle facing sustained stress, a thicker protective film isn't just a technical detail. It's the difference between a smooth running machine and one headed for early overhaul. The numbers on the jug and the HT, HS they represent are more than specs. They're the front line of wear defense. City Courier Service ran a fleet of 172 diesel vans, each equipped with modern emissions controls and diesel particulate filters. In 2014, a supplier changed their oil order, swapping the approved low saps 5W30 for a cheaper, high saps 5W40. The switch seemed harmless. Same viscosity at cold start, similar thickness at temperature. But within months, vans began racking up warning lights and service calls. Ash from the new oil, rich in metallic additives, accumulated inside the DPFs. Filters that should have lasted 150,000 miles clogged in less than half that distance. Internal emails documented a surge in DPF replacements with repair invoices topping $200,000 in a single quarter. The maintenance manager traced the failures back to the oil's chemistry. High sap's content, not just viscosity, was the culprit. 
After an emergency meeting, the fleet reverted to OEM-approved LOSAPS oil. Failures dropped, but the lesson lingered. Ignoring the ACA or API category can turn a routine oil change into a six-figure mistake. A Volkswagen owner in Michigan logged nearly 400,000 miles on a 2017 Golf TDI, sticking to the manufacturer's call for 5W30, AC, ASA3, and well, in 10,000 mile intervals. Every used oil analysis showed low wear metals and stable viscosity, even after years of winter starts and highway commutes. Meanwhile, controlled studies from Ricardo and others confirmed the numbers. Switching from 5W40 to 5W30 can save between 1 and 3% on fuel in typical light duty driving. That's real money for high mileage drivers, especially in urban cycles or for families racking up daily miles. But the story changes under heavy loads, hot summers, or when towing. Field data and lab teardowns show that 5W40's higher HTHS viscosity gives extra margin against wear, especially for older diesels or those working hard. Owners in southern states or those pulling trailers often report quieter engines and less oil consumption on 5W40, provided it carries the right AC, EAC3, or C4 approval. The safest path is always matching the oil to both the climate and how the vehicle is used. Fuel savings for everyday runs, durability for stress and heat. In documented fleet studies, switching from a low saps 5W30 to a non-low saps 5W40 led to rapid DPF clogging and repair bills exceeding $6,000 per vehicle. Laboratory tests show 27% higher iron wear in engines using low HTHS oils confirming that viscosity and chemistry both determine long-term survival. Yet manufacturer approval lists remain incomplete, and not all HTHS or SAPS values are published for every brand. What is clear, the numbers on the jug are not enough. ACAA and API categories, HTHS ratings, and regional climate all matter more than 5W30 versus 5W40 alone. For modern diesels, using the wrong oil can mean early failure, regardless of synthetic labels. The evidence leaves no doubt, real production depends on matching not just viscosity, but the right specification for your engine and driving. The choice is in the details, and the documents prove details decide if your diesel makes the distance. In all honesty, choosing between 5W30 and 5W40 doesn't matter nearly as much as people think. What truly counts is that the oil meets your engine's diesel specifications and suits your local temperature range. Beyond that, consistency is everything. Regular oil changes keep any diesel alive far longer than chasing the perfect number ever will. Personally, I still stick to and recommend 5,000 mile intervals, no matter what the label says, because clean oil beats clever marketing every single time.